Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves from Jonathan Reeves CAD here and very excited to share with you a full in-depth look at one of the new amazing 2025 Vectorwitz features that are coming soon. So I've been given permission to highlight this amazing new feature which is on-screen 3D view controls. But first I just want to kind of remind you of some of the old ways of doing things as well. And basically when you're viewing your models in 3D, this can make a huge difference to your speed and productivity. Now I've loved using Vectorwitz in 3D for my whole career and it's a real passion of mine to teach people how to kind of leverage the power of Vectorwitz. So if you're out there and you're wanting to learn Vectorwitz 3D, just let me know and I'll be very, very pleased to help. So let's have a quick reminder of the old way of doing things, then we'll look at this amazing new feature and see how this works. So if we go up to the menu command, you'll see we've got the traditional 3D views. All of the isometric views here that you can swing through and of course things like the front view and the back view as well. So that's the first way of doing things. Now, if you do have a big keyboard with a numerical keypad, remember that you can use the numerical keys on that numerical keypad. So all I mean by that is just basically use these keys to whiz around those 3D views. And this can be very, very productive to be honest, is one of my favorite methods. For those of you using a laptop, then a really nice method is to tap spacebar. This brings up the on-screen display with a lovely little widget that you can use to navigate around. And this actually is an extremely nice way of doing things and probably my second favorite. However, my new absolute favorite is the new on-screen view controls. So let's take a look at this amazing new feature right now. Okay, so let's look at this new amazing on-screen view controls that is coming up for you in Vectorwitz 2025 that will really revolutionize your 3D workflow. So here's a model of a project that I made for a really nice little eco home I designed a few years ago. Um, I like showing this project because it's one of my favorite projects and I kind of like made a really nice little Vectorwitz model. The model itself really helped me get the design on board with the planning and the client as well. And it's a very simply structured model just with three different layers. I'm gonna use this as my little demonstration model for you. So let's have a little look at how this new on-screen view control works. So if you go down to the bottom left corner, you'll notice that suddenly down in this bottom corner, a little icon will appear. Now it's kind of ghosted out so it doesn't distract. But if you do want to, you can click on this and now we can turn on the on-screen view control. So what happens is when you turn this on, you'll get a cube. Now there's a few different options in here. To begin with, I'm just gonna kind of like turn the cube on and also show the axis. Um, if I'm actually working in georeference files, I can also show the compass ring, but I'll come on to that in future videos. So how do we work this very simple thing? Well, to begin with, all you do is you click onto the cube. Now you'll notice that if I click from 3D to 2D, I can actually toggle my 3D view on and off so I can work in top plan, have a look at my lovely sort of plans in this project if I want to, and turn those layers on and off. But if I want to toggle into 3D, I just click the button. Now it's very straightforward to operate. Um, if you want to operate into 3D isometric, you click these quadrants on the corners. You can see each one is labeled up, so there's the right view. And by the way, if I want to get the other side view, all I do is click again and that'll flick to that other side. So that's very, very clever. So we can easily toggle between the views. Now, if I want the front view, I just need to click on the side, on the side, and now I can get the back or the front view very, very straightforwardly. So I really like this ease of use. Um, I really like the communication of the different views so you can kind of like remember which view you're actually in. Um, it's a little bit more intuitive in a way than this one, uh, even though I really like the on-screen view controls from last year as well. So what do you think? I think this is amazing. Um, I do quite like having the axis when I'm actually doing the modeling. So, you know, obviously this means that when you're actually doing some modeling, you've got the X, the Y and the Z axis there if you need to control the objects you're modeling. But for now, what I might do is just turn off those axes and keep it nice and simple. So this new view control can also have some other couple of features. So if you want to, you can actually click and drag on the cube itself, and that will basically give you the fly round tool almost, and be able to spin in 3D. Now what's really cool about this, of course, it works in not just a orthogonal, but also perspective views. And it really is a very, very nice tool for kind of exploring your design in all sorts of different ways. Let's just sort of pan out a bit there and just sort of pan around. So you can see this is a, gives me a very natural way to communicate my design while still being able to show the client different elevations and perspectives as well as sort of the 3D views. 
So very, very elegant and very straightforward. Now I just want to hop into another file associated with this particular project. So what I've done here, everybody, is I've simply modeled my building BIM file in one file. And I find that's really helpful because I can keep the model nice and clean. And then what I do is I model the site and I use the referencing capability that Vectorus has simply to update and reference in my model. So this entire viewport here is referenced from the other file. Now one cool thing that if I do want to, I can tunnel into that viewport and actually sort of turn on and off various layers, just like I could in the real design file. And basically everything else works as if it was in this file. But when I come to actually do the editing, if I double click and try to edit that design layer, basically it will tell me it's the reference file and say, well, would you like to go back and do the edit? And of course, take me back to the original file in the same state. So very, very nice little workflow. So let's have a look at how this cube can work in this particular project. So I would like to look at the 2D plan of the project. And basically you can see here I am in top view. Now, if I do want to, I can basically click onto the sides, get those elevations and sections. Let me just turn on those other layers back into the 3D model that's referenced in. So there's a really nice sort of front view or right view rather. So that's the great thing. It does remind you what the views are. There's the left view. And let's go to those other views, so those sort of sectional views as well. So let's pop it back into 3D by clicking and spinning our view. And you can see it's quite easy to navigate around. Let's just zoom in a bit. And one thing I've always loved about Vectorworks is the absolute speed of 3D. Um, you know, I'm running a Mac M1 Pro from a couple of years old. In fact, I'm getting very excited about getting a new M4 MacBook Pro. So hang around and subscribe for those videos when I get that soon. Now, this looks really great in terms of the quality of rendering. What we've got here is a little bit of an HDRI that giving you some nice reflections. And all I've done actually in the shaded options, you'll see is turned on environmental lighting. So if I turn off environmental lighting, you'll see you won't quite get that blue reflected from the clouds and the sky. Um, so that's sort of optional. I've also got the object reflections. So let's turn all of those off just so you can see. That's the straightforward render, still looks pretty good. And basically, when I turn off things like reflections, I get those reflections appearing in shiny surfaces. Environmental reflections, that really helps. And as I say, if you do want to, you can actually swap out the uh, background. So here I've got a day sky. If I want, say, something a bit more overcast, let's just try that and see how that looks. You can see it's gone a bit more overcast, but those sort of bluey colours have come out. So back to the new view screen control. It really is such a wonderful tool for presentation and communication of your new 3D modeling skills. So I would say if you haven't started to get into 3D Vectorworks yet, you know, what are you waiting for? The, the 3D capabilities of Vectorworks are incredible. I've been, personally been using it for over 20 years and I absolutely love doing everything in 3D, plus all the BIM capabilities that you get. So would reach out to me if you'd love some training all over the world um, via Zoom. I can do that for you. And I've got lots of experience teaching individuals and large practices too. So I do hope you've enjoyed this short video on the new on-screen view controls. Uh, please like and subscribe if you are new around here. I've got loads more videos planned for Vectorworks 2025 when it's released and some new teasers will be coming soon as well. Now, the final thing to say is if you are looking to get Vectorworks, please reach out to me as a Vectorworks reseller in the UK. We've got an amazing sale on with 50% off the full Vectorworks design suite until September the 9th. So reach out to me. I'm very happy to help with any advice you need and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.